Hello and welcome to this Reali Simulation What's New presentation for our second release of 2023. My name is Charles de Conose and I am the product manager responsible for Realis Fluids 3D Computational Fluid Dynamics Suite, Vectis. Our fluid product, Vectis, is a high fidelity expert 3D CFD solution for tackling challenges in IC design, thermal management, and general fluid systems. With Vectis Suite, our customers can accelerate virtual product development and take advantage of the latest R&D. Realis products put customer at the center of decision making and deliver a personalized experience while minimizing development cost. These five pillars of our product strategy firmly put the customer at the center of our product development. Today, it is my pleasure to introduce the new and exciting features of the 2023.2 release of the Vectis Suite and to give you an overview of how these features can help you achieve your R&D and CA modeling objectives. This release is packed with features which address new simulation challenges, enhance usability and help you speed up your workflow. With this release, we are continuing providing enhancements on the themes of accuracy, usability and speed, all of which underlie realist simulation fluid products. The new functionality headlines include a unique liquid fuel tracking model aimed at improving the understanding of mixture formation in liquid fuel engines. A host of improvement for our geometry, making it even closer to a lightweight CAD package, and the support of Wolfin outlets for port injected simulations. The user experience is further enhanced through the addition of new sensor capabilities for spray, wall film, and flow motion. The Vectis GUI is also improved with the addition of a 1D model that allows an easy setup of GT Power Vectis co simulations for an improved interoperability within the CA tool chains. Regarding the workflow enablers, the session parametrization is further enhanced through the support of parametrization for the mixture composition, both for multi species and multi phase simulations. The species swapping, injection and ignition timings can now be defined by triggers to improve the simulation setup of rotary engine applications. Finally, a new parameters and cases import-export functionality compatible with Microsoft Excel has been added to allow for an easier setup of large parametric sweeps. Let us now dive a little bit deeper into a selection of these features highlighted here in bold. We will also cover briefly other announcements brought about by this release at the end. If you have any questions about the features we cover in this presentation, or would like to know more about how Realist products can help you enhance your CA workflows, please reach out to us at support at realist-simulation.com. Now, more than ever, we need refinement and optimization of gasoline powertrains to lower emissions and improve performance. Part of the answer lies in the in-depth understanding of the fuel mixing driven by the liquid spray behavior. In this release, Vectis introduces a unique analysis option with the fuel tracking per nozzle that provides a better than ever insight into this complex phenomena. This new feature allows the tracking of the liquid fuel both in the spray and the wall film as a function of the hole from which it was injected. This tracking covers all the phenomena such as droplet coalescence, breakup, impingement or wall film stripping. It is enabled through the spray model edit panel where options for the export of the results to the report and or the post files are present. In this video we are showing the injection of a GDI engine where the spray is colored by the hole from which the fuel has been injected. Then, we show wall film colored by the hole from which the liquid fuel comes from. This graph provides an example of the type of statistics that can be found in the report file, where the wall film distribution on both the liner and the piston, decomposed by the holes from which the fuel comes from, is shown. 
Individual holes contribution to the various surfaces wetting are thus available. Finally, a mass balance extracted from the report file for two holes here, hole 2 and hole 3, shows the injected mass, the active mass in the spray and wall film, as well as the total evaporated mass from the wall film and from the spray. This provides a detailed insight into each nozzle contribution towards the overall mixture. Correct surface meshing, creating watertight grids, is essential for pre-processing in CFD and FE applications. Unfortunately, the geometry received from the CAD designers is not always perfect and sometimes can feature defects which are difficult to spot, but which can prevent generation of a high-quality surface mesh. To address this issue, the 2023.2 release introduces a new Find Holes tool which automatically highlights existing gaps making the surface non-watertight. The tool can be launched from the Surface Mesh toolbar. Here we have a complex body prepared for thermal analysis. Let's generate a mesh for it. Add a surface mesher, set the mesh parameters, refine the mesh settings, and generate the surface mesh. Once the mesh has been generated, a dialog is displayed showing that the mesh quality is not sufficient. We can, at this stage, specify what we want to do with the malformed faces causing issue. We can ignore the issues, remove the faces causing it, or color them so they can easily be seen. The workflow for healing the geometry would require us to delete the faces and then heal the body to generate correct faces instead of the bad ones. However, for now, we will just color them to illustrate the mesh holes. We can then select the surface mesh and use the Find Holes tool, which will highlight the problematic areas in the model. Once these areas are identified, the user can then refer to the upstream geometry and fix the source faces directly in our geometry. As we have just seen, Geometry pre-processing in CFD can be a substantial part of the overall modeling effort. Therefore, a user-friendly workflow can save time as well as minimize the chances of potentially costly mistakes at the pre-processing stage of the analysis. At Realis, we are bringing new usability improvements in our 3D pre-processing tool with every release of our software. In the 23.2 release, we have been focusing on improving the control of geometry transformation. In particular, we have improved the control for translation, rotation and scaling of the bodies, thus allowing users to pick directions of the transformation from the surface normals on the canvas and provide an immediate visual feedback on the transformation. We have also made possible to split surfaces in the model by line, plane or body thus providing a versatile method for preparing surfaces prior to boundary painting. We have also added detailed control of the cutting plane position, where in addition of the coordinate system alignment, it is now possible to specify precisely the cutting plane through the context menu. And finally, we are now allowing the alignment of surfaces by matching two points. So this allows users to close uh, gaps between CAD parts and prepare the geometry, in particular for conjugated edge transfer simulation. The video illustrates here the application of this later capability to close the gap created by the removal of the gasket body in an engine assembly.
With these new geometry manipulation capabilities, our geometry can now be used not solely as a CFD NFE preprocessing tool, but also as a lightweight CAD application, which is also enabled by the addition in this release of the ability to export bodies into the neutral STEP CAD format. To support the optimization of existing powertrains and the development of cleaner ones, it is essential to make the most out of the simulations and to be able to extract the right information. To this end, in this release, we are introducing new measurements for the charge motion, spray and charge mixing. First of all, the charge motion can be measured in multiple ways. Previously, the center of measurements was defined through a constant point or using the center of gravity of the zone being measured. There are now additional options for defining the measurement centers. Each of its coordinates, x, y, and z, can now be specified either through a user-defined value, based on the center of gravity, or using a time profile. This allows for more complex measurements suitable for a wide range of applications. We see here the example of the measurement of the charge motion with the settings shown in the previous image. Secondly, coming to the additional spray statistics in this release, we are now measuring the average velocity of the droplets through any arbitrary surface using the so-called Lagrangian collector sensor. The average velocity of individual droplets going through a given surface at every time step is now recorded in the report file allowing for an easy comparison with available experimental data. And finally, to improve the measurements of the charge mixing in the cylinder, the export of both the laminar and turbulent flame speed has been enabled even when combustion is not active. Indeed, both the laminar and turbulent flame speed are great metrics for the mixture state, combining the effect of pressure, temperature, equivalence ratio, but also turbulence in a single value. Thus, optimizing the charge comes down to optimizing the turbulent flame speed at the ignition. This expert is available in both report file, but also post file, as shown here with the turbulent and laminar flame speed maps. One of the most useful features of a CA software package which really helps customers minimize the development cost is its interoperability with the broader CA software environment. Spreadsheets such as Microsoft Excel's are ubiquitous as a means of data sharing in engineering workflows. In this release, Vectis Parametric Case Tables offers a new features allowing import and export of whole or parts of case table into Microsoft Excel or open a CSV format. The functionality can be very useful when importing a list of parameters into Vectis or when importing or exporting a list of cases to automate the definition of operating point. The feature can be accessed through the toolbar of the case table or parameters view. In this video, we're using a session with an empty parameter list and then showing an Excel spreadsheet where several parameters have been defined, such as the wall temperature, or injection parameters, such as the time of injection. We can then move back to the session onto the import dialog, select the spreadsheet containing the parameters to import, and configure the import dialog with the necessary values column and row indices. Once this is done, all the parameters are now available in the session and we can just start enabling them with, for example, the engine speed. We can then move on to the injector to set up the total injected mass, the injection start time and the temperature of the liquid. Let's now move to another session where all the parameters have been correctly set up, as you can see from this list. 
from the cases, we can see that only a single case has been defined. We can then open a spreadsheet where cases have been pre-populated from a baseline, and this can come from an experimental data set or just a parameter sweep. In this case, two parameter sweeps are represented with the start of injection and start of combustion sweeps. Going back to the session, we can now click on the importer, fill out the same setting as before, and click on import. The various cases are now available in the session. Apart from the headlines which we have just covered, this release is packed with other enhancements for Vectis and the accompanying tools. In particular, we now have a support for GTPower Vectis coupling through the GUI, which allows to easily set up core simulations. The skip species algorithm has been extended to the RTZF and CPV frameworks to skip the solution of species when not present in the domain thereby providing a speed-up of the simulation. Continuing to improve the parametrization of the sessions, the mixture composition can now be parametrized for all types of mixtures, vector species, wave species, etc. Vsolv is now uh, capable of running very large simulation with up to 10,000 CPUs, and additional sensors options have been added for external aerodynamics with the possibility of measuring the center of pressure position, as well as report the sum of forces over a subset of walls. Additional geometry specific improvements include the improvement of the interoperability of geometry with other tools, where geometries can now be exported to uh, the step format. We have a detailed position of the cutting plane for a better user experience. Surface splitting has been added to allow users to split surface, uh, such as piston, for example, for more accurate measurement. The background generation has been improved to support a case where pistons are split into multiple surfaces. And our geometry now supports pack and go to improve data management. Finally, when painting surfaces, it is now possible to hide the edges of hidden surfaces for an enhanced user experience. When it comes to the tools and utilities, the combustion toolbox has been improved by adding the possibility for users to generate their own modified hydrogen flame speed table, including the thermodiffusive correction released in Vectis in the 22.3 and 23.1 releases. Our Flame Plus has been renamed to Logi ACS, where SCS stands for Advanced Chemical Solver, and removed from the installation. Interested users can now procure it uh, and the associated licenses directly from Logisoft. Finally, we continue expanding our metal database with this release, including built-in support for complex heavy hydrocarbons representative of hydrogenated vegetable oil for renewable fuel application and aviation-grade kerosene. Finally, let us have a brief look back at the key features in the past two releases which may be of interest to you, such as new flame speed models for lean and very lean hydrogen combustion modeling, a new NOC model based on detailed kinetics calculation, a decoupled NOC tendency analysis tool based on detailed kinetics, in terms of user experience, we have introduced parametric solutions in the GUI and a condensed GUI for our geometry. In terms of workflow, we have released a fully scripted CAD to mesh workflow with our geometry, a full Python scripting automation capability in terms of session and post-processing, and additional improvements in our geometry for contact filling and imprinting, particularly useful in conjugated heat transfer applications. Finally, we have also improved our post 
to post-process automatically parametric simulations. Our team is here to provide more information about these and help you adopt these features and use them to drive your processes. Please get in touch and we will answer your questions and help you explore these options. Thank you very much for your attention.